Courtney Ponce here at the Stub Hub Center where the De La Salle Spartans have just won the Open Division Championship game. It was a back and forth hard hitting slugfest, so let's check out the highlights. <laughs> Here we go with the long anticipated matchup with De La Salle and Corona Centennial. First quarter, Spartans coming out of the gates strong. Running back Andrew Hernandez goes up the gut for a 15 yard touchdown. He's making this look too easy. 7 0 Spartans. But the Huskies would retaliate. Quarterback Anthony Catalano goes straight up the right side for a 30 yard score. 7 7, we're all tied up. Next play, Chris Vandercut with the score 14 7, De La Salle. And once again, the Huskies respond. Quarterback Nate Ketteringham for a nice 16-yard score. 14-14, we're tied once again. Spartan defense stepping it up. Boss Tagaloa sacked quarterback Catalano. Next play, Catalano shook it off by connecting with McKinley for a beautiful 88-yard touchdown run. Put the ball in his hands and he is gone. This would be his first of three tonight. 21-14, Huskies take the lead. Start of the second quarter, Spartans retaliate with a nine-yard touchdown run by Custer up the left side, but the extra point had a bad snap and a bad exchange. It's no good. 21-20, De La Salle still trails. Centennial feeding off of the momentum. They increase the lead with McKinley again, but this time for a 25-yard touchdown. And this is why he is getting the big college offers. Easy money, 28-20, Huskies. This game keeps going back and forth, but De La Salle isn't going down without a fight. Hernandez front flips over the defenders into the end zone for a Spartan touchdown. De La Salle goes for a two-point conversion, so who do they give it to? The man on fire, of course. Hernandez runs it in, no problem. 28-28, all tied up. But with less than two minutes left in the half, Custer finishes with a nice five-yard touchdown, gaining the lead going into the half. 35-28 De La Salle. Third quarter, Huskies turn to one of their playmakers, J.J. Taylor, who missed the past three games due to appendix surgery. Glad to see him back for this big game. Two big runs for the first downs, capped off by Samonte Bonner with an easy five-yard touchdown, 35-35 tied game. Seesaw battle is clearly the theme of this game, 42-42 now. De La Salle, the give goes to Custer. He takes it down the line and in for the score, 49-42 Spartans. Spartans keeping the momentum. Cameron Lisserog with a huge interception. This would be the first turnover of the game. Both teams played pretty clean up to this point. Next play, De La Salle fakes out everybody. Vanderclut keeps the ball and goes left, setting it up for this. Hernandez runs it up the middle for a two-yard score. 55-42, Spartans. The Huskies playing catch-up now. Catalano connects for a deep pass to Grayson Bankhead, who is right on point. But check this out. The very next play, the Spartans would take it away. Lissarog snags it for his second interception of the game to end the quarter. A very huge play for the defense, and they are pumped. Throw up the four. Here we go with the Huskies looking for a dramatic finish to come back, but no, Ketteringham fumbles the ball. De La Salle takes over. They plug in their four-string quarterback to finish it off. Devin Asayasi goes from tight end to quarterback, and he slams the door shut with this run, and that would do it. 63-42 is the final. The De La Salle Spartans are your 2014 Open Division champions. On the first one, I saw it popped up, so I went and caught it and then ended up in the ground. Second one, we've been working on that in practice for the past two weeks, those slants, and I just got in position, looked up, and the ball was coming my way. I caught it. The coaching staff did a great job. They kept telling us, you know, every, every team we play is just, uh, just in the way of what we're trying to do. You know, they're, they're an obstacle, and what we're trying to do is win a state championship, and, you know, I think our team took to that and just realized that, you know, we can beat any team that we play if we just play our game, and I think that's what we did. So I'm very really proud of our team and proud of everyone who, I mean, especially like Simba and Sweeney guys went down. I mean, just a hell of a team right now.